Hello, my name is Lasse Hämäläinen and I am from Helsinki, Finland. This video is a short introduction to an online game called Playforia Minigolf, which is the data source of my PhD thesis. The video is targeted especially to those people who have not played the game themselves. I hope you find it useful. Playforia is an online gaming website created in Finland in 2002. It provides more than 50 online games based on real-life games or virtual game classics. Minigolf is one of the oldest and most popular games in Playforia. The main idea is the same as in real-life minigolf, you try to get the ball from tee to hole with as few strokes as possible. However, most levels in Playforia Minigolf are longer and more challenging than in real life. About one quarter of the levels are impossible to pass through with less than five strokes. You hit the ball with your mouse. Red line shows in which direction the ball will take off. Longer the red line, harder the stroke. You should not always hit the ball with full power, because there is a random effect in the game. This means that the ball does not always take off exactly to the right direction. The influence of the random effect grows progressively. Harder the shot, larger the random. The ball drops into the hole when over half of it is above the hole. If the stroke is too hard, the ball may roll over the hole. Therefore, it is important to control power. Minigolf levels consist of various level elements. There are 20 different elements in the game. The most common of them are grass, slope, stone wall and water. Grass is usually the floor of the levels. Stone walls change the direction of the ball. They limit moving in the level, but they can also be useful. Slopes take the ball to the direction pointed by the arrows. If the ball goes into water, it is returned to its previous location. There are also lots of special elements that usually don't exist in real life minigolf, for example sand, mud, ice, and swamp. On ice, the ball goes longer than on grass. On sand, the ball goes shorter than on grass. On mud, the ball goes even shorter than on sand. Also swamp makes the ball go slower than usual. If the ball stops on swamp, it sinks to it. Then the ball is returned back to its previous location, just like when hitting into water. In addition to stone walls, there are many special walls in minigolf. So-called glue wall is sticky. The ball bounces back very little. Bounce wall, on the contrary, bounces the ball back with huge power. One-way wall can be passed through only to the direction pointed by the arrows. Brick wall is removed when you touch it. Weakest bricks are removed by one touch, strongest by four touches. So-called blocks can be moved by touching them. Some of them are filling blocks, if you push them in the water, they make a bridge. The most unusual wall is illusion wall. It looks like normal wall, but you can go through it. So, it is beneficial to know the levels well. Acid is often an important element in the game. If the ball goes to acid, it is returned to the T of the level, no matter where it was previously. 
Acid Swamp is similar to regular Swamp, but if the ball sinks to it, it is returned to the T of the level as well. Yet a brief overview to some special elements. Teleports move the ball from one place to another. Magnets either attract the ball or repel it. If the ball goes over a landmine, the mine explodes and the ball sets off to a random direction with a great speed. Fake holes look exactly like normal holes, but the ball does not drop into them. Fake holes are very rare. In mini golf, there are three playing modes single, dual, and multiplayer mode. Single playing mode is divided in two sub modes practice and championship. In practice mode, the levels appear in random order. You may learn to know the levels and improve your skills, but also go for the records. Usually, it is possible only to make a tie with, a, with the record, but sometimes also new records are made. Especially unique results, which are played only one person, are highly appreciated. In championship mode, you play sets of 9 or 18 levels. The target is to get as good final result as possible. The lists of best results are shown in the result page. Competitive matches in for example mini golf league or annual world cup tournament are usually played in dual mode. In this mode players strike their balls in turns and player with a smaller final result is the winner. In the game settings you may choose for example the number of levels and if the balls can hit each other or not. Multiplayer games include up to four players. They are usually less competitive than dual games. The most active players have developed a special gaming mode called Team Game, where four players are divided in two pairs and the pair with smaller final result is the winner. In my academic studies, I have examined level names in Playforia Minigolf. When making this video in November 2017, there are more than 2000 levels in the game. Each of them has a name. The name is shown below the level. For instance, this level is called Three Hills. In addition to the name, there are also information about the level maker, the best result and the names of players who have played the result first and previously. You may explore the game more closely in playforia.net slash play slash minigolf. The game is free of charge. Hopefully see you there.